um, not good enough in my opinion. Um, you know, luckily I think our skill guys uh, stepped up and made big plays for us. Um, you know, we didn't control the line of scrimmage in the run game. Uh, that was something I thought we, we worked really hard on and made progress the first two games, um, but we just didn't get it done in the game. They did some, some line movements and games on us, and I think because of it, it hit us early. We lost confidence, and we didn't we didn't come off and play fast. You know? So uh, we didn't we didn't do a very good job in the run game. It is one dimensional, and uh, as far as pass pro goes, that was just. It's too many times I thought, you know, the quarterbacks bailed us out of some situations, you know, uh, you know, avoiding sacks, getting rid of the ball quick and things like that. So. What did you make of uh, Jonah Monheim's performance and were you planning on, on playing Jalen that much? No, I just thought uh, it was one of those things that, that Jonah just, it wasn't his day at that day, you know what I'm saying? I thought he played really well versus Stanford. It was the best, uh, uh, one of his better games that he's played. I thought he made a lot of improvement from week one to week two against Stanford and then just didn't go out there and perform like he typically does. And we kind of got rolling there. When I go with Jalen, kind of got rolling and it was just one of those things. We just felt like we needed to keep the same lineup intact. Not to not to kind of break what was going on at the time, and it kind of got hot. We we're 45 points in a row, and just kind of was like, all right, we should just settle in and play this group right now. You look pretty animated on the sideline during the game. What do you tell your guys? Just it was one of those things we weren't, you know, it just wasn't us. You know what I mean? It, nothing, nothing that we were doing was us. Nothing that we tried to build or, or become as far as that group, uh, as far as our culture. Um, we weren't playing hard. Uh, we weren't competing. Uh, we were making stupid, stupid mistakes. You know, I mean, all those things started rolling, and, and it was it was causing us to really perform bad. And that wasn't us, and it was going to lead to you know leading our team to getting beat. You know, and so uh, just try to get those guys going. You know, sometimes you got to be honest with them. Sometimes you got a little fired up, and try to motivate them to get out of the funk. And obviously, they responded and went out there and played better. Um, wasn't great, but better. Why do you think that happened? Was that something specific Washington State did, or no? I, I mean. Credit their coaches, you know, they, they won the line of scrimmage in that, that aspect. But, um, you know, I think it was more we just didn't have the right mindset going out there. And uh, I thought we played pretty well against Stanford and did some good stuff in that game uh, as a unit. Uh, but, you know, maybe we read too much of the clippings or maybe we praised them a little too much. And maybe I didn't push them hard enough in practice or whatever it may have been. But we didn't come out and play like we should have played in that game. So do you address anything in practice this week? Because no, I mean, it's just I think, uh, you know, we got to do a better job of holding them more accountable for, for their effort and, and finish in practice because we didn't have that in the game. So uh, maybe as us as coaches, just like, you know, a little too lax on their practice last week. What's your sense of how they came out the first couple of days of practice? Uh, I thought they were fine. Uh, you know, like I said, I can't tell you enough how great these kids are. They really are. They're, they're unbelievable kids. and. They'll do anything you ask them to do. I thought they came out here and, and battled and competed. Um, this practice was a tough practice, uh, a lot of reps. I um, thought we got a little tired, um, but you know, like I said, in, in the end, like I said, that's part of it. You're going to get tired at points in football and you got to got to push through. But they were okay today. Uh, obviously, I don't think it was the best day we ever had, but it wasn't worse either. Going forward, do you evaluate Jonah and Jalen? What's your plan? Yeah, it's, I mean, we're, you know, you know, your hope is to go in game one and you got your starting five and you, you know exactly how you want it to be done. And, you know, it just hasn't been that way. That's not, you know, it's, it's just part of it. We've got to continue to adjust and, you know, and, and go out there and put our five best guys that we have at the current moment out there to try to win a game. I saw Jalen walk off at the end of practice. Is he okay? Is yeah, he's fine. There's nothing wrong with him. I thought he should have probably pushed through what he had today, but, uh, but he'll be fine. He'll be out here tomorrow. Are you guys playing on um, shuffling the line still? I don't know. I mean, it's kind of based on practice. You know, it's one of those things. We got we got a couple practices to evaluate and see where we need to go. Try to put our best foot forward uh, on Saturday. Are there any of those guys, Liam Douglas, or, or even anyone you guys didn't have in that initial sort of seven pushing at, at all at, the, at this point? I know it's still kind of early in the season. Oh, uh, I mean, right now I'd say it's hard to tell. You know, with the reps that we get, um, but. You know, you never know. At some point, you know, a kid's going to get an opportunity, and when they put something on tape, you might you might push to get a more reps moving forward in that way. Um, I, right now, I feel good about the ones that we're playing. Uh, we just got to get the best five on the field at the right time and, and the right lineup. And, and unfortunately, we hadn't been able to do that yet, you know. And so, uh, at some point, we need to get that, you know, hopefully it clicks and we get the right guys and we'll go forward and kind of get better and progress as we go.
Do you notice a difference between key and, and dark as far as pre-snap reads or anything like that? No, I, you ask that guy over there. He, uh, <laughs> I'm just trying to get him to block the guys so they don't get killed, you know. So, uh, but both those guys are really good. They're really good football players, really talented, and uh, fortunate to have both those guys. If J Jackson's mobility, his, his ability to get out of the pocket and, and move that a little bit, does that affect you guys at well, all? Kind it, of who's, it helps who's us back a ton. Like I said the other day in the game, I think you know he got us out of probably another two or three you know possible sacks in there that he you know he was able to scramble or move around the pocket and make a play for us. And, and I think Keaton does a great job too. I think Keaton's more mobile than people give him credit for. And uh, he's done a good job for the most part this season too, is getting us out of some of those as well. Thank you.